So the people of the Congo themselves, they have been independent since 1960. So we're talking about 56 years of independence, really. Yeah. Where are they when they are needed? How come they don't rise to the occasion and decide who should be their masters? There has never been a single peaceful transition from 1960 to today as we talk. Okay. Good. And I like, I like that question, which where um, personally I would say to people who are watching you and say, look, Everybody wants to call this crisis in a crisis with no end in sight. Remember, after the assassination of Lumumba, the Congo had gone through worse than this. Yet, they got to something. When Adula became prime minister, what they did is they did the same type of dialogue that we're seeing in today. However, they didn't allow them to, to play a circus. The game, the political game that you're seeing in Kinshasa is a circus to me. Which means they were in one place, they sat down, lived like really students on campus at their University of uh, Lovanium at that time, and they had the mission to find a solution. Go sit down, find a solution to the country. I know I jumped a little so bit. So what was the solution? The solution is that they... Mobutu Sese Seko no, was the bank? No, that was when Adula became prime minister. Yeah, but I'm talking a, about uh, Mobutu who had the real power and, and, for 32 years. Well, um, no, that, that was before Mobutu uh, took power. But I, I, I see the gist of your question. And the gist of your question actually comes to this. Where are the Congolese people when things get worse? Well, I'll tell you this. When... Mobutu took power, right? You remember that there was all those uprisings about, you know, uh, not only Chombe, Mulele, etc. But at that time, Mobutu came in as a stabilizing, you know, energy. For who? Well, at, I mean, 1965, I believe that at that point it was needed. However, Mobutu. But for who? For whom? For the Congolese people? Well, uh, let's, let's put it this way. I wouldn't find uh, any African leader who took the power at that time who was really for the people. At this particular point, my, really? my, 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 my reading... You mean Marimu, Julius Kambarag, no, and in Tanzania no, I said was by, not I said by, of the people? By force. Who took power by force at that time to have been for the people. It was always... Has there ever been? On no, the African continent? Uh, I, I, can't, I can't find. That's what I said. I cannot find. What you a know, man whoever, who seized the power, who, who seized and the power became by democratic. Fascism. Well, maybe let me let me contradict myself. Mali, when the the president first took power and said I will be in power for one year, I will hold elections and everything. So I will I will contradict myself there. Mm -hmm. However, the ge in general, that has not happened. I see. You, you know. So, but let me go go we'll quickly to, to, to Kabila.